Hey now, mess heads. Hey now, mess heads. Time for a rant video today. I heard something today that was so outrageous and so stupid, I had to post a video about it. I've heard several people now and then say the same stupid shit, and it is outrageous, it is retarded, and I gotta do my part to try to put a stop to it. So I'm listening to the All Gen Gamers podcast, uh, episode 90, and uh, it all started with this. The conversation, they were talking about the Wii U and the Wii U's controller. And Games Ready One says this. Are you going to be able to take the controller, like, on its own, like an iPad, <laughs> and play games on its own? Like apps, do you know? I think Nintendo said, and I could be wrong here, but I think they said it has to be synced up to the Wii U. Or within distance of the Wii U that in order to... That sound like something they would do. That's a stupid mistake, I think. You, yeah, you, you can't... Err, uh, herp derp, what a stupid mistake. The controller for my Wii should be a gaming rig, just like an iPad, yeah. Now, as Gazoo would say from the Flintstones, uh, listen, dum-dums, the Wii U is a next-generation gaming platform, and you would expect the controller to have the capability to play next-gen games just on the controller? The problems with this scenario are staggering. For one, you're talking about huge power consumption to power these next-gen graphics. So there would be no way it could last very long anyways. And then the obvious cost of the price. What, do you want the Wii U to sell for $700? Or $600? So that the controller, you're really buying two Wii U's with one of them being portable? Sure, it would be nice in Magical Fairyland if the controller could play all the games, the same games as the next-gen console. But if that were the case, wouldn't they just make the controller the console? And then put an HDMI port in the back of it and be done with it? What would be the purpose of the console itself? I know you can't like take when you want to do like that transfer thing with like you're playing a game on the TV and then you want to play it on your Wii U. Um, you still have to be within distance of the Wii U to do that. Herp derp, you must use the Wii U to play the Wii U, herp. Like you should be able to save your game on the tablet or whatever, the controller, and then take it to your buddy's place and continue the game, some, you know, with your buddy. You should be able to have like apps. I, I can envision apps and take it on the go, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like the iPad, you know, competing mm -hmm. with Apple in that sense, iOS, I, I don't know. Yeah, the Wii U's controller should be like the iPad. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, how much does an iPad cost? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone? And even a real iPad at its huge cost would not be able to handle the uh, Wii U games that are going to be coming out. And then the guest of today's show, Jason from 3 Kilobytes, goes on to say this. I guess the, the downside here is there's no memory, apparently, in that controller, so... Um, oh. I, 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 maybe there is an SD card reader that we just don't know about. And I think that would be the key to, to do what you said, to be able to like, you know, I was, I was envisioned, say you're playing a super Mario game and then you're playing on your television and then you got to go to school or you got to go right. somewhere. What if, what if the, the Wii U downloaded maybe a little mini game? that actually goes onto the controller. You go out and actually play that. Yeah. And then when, when you get home, it sinks back up and it, all of your achievements go right back into the Mario game. So it's like a sort of like a little mini game on the, on the go. I think that that would really be cool, but now there, I don't see a need for Nintendo to waste development time developing a system to play shitty, crappy little mini games on the controller. Like this, these shitty, stupid, uh, Dreamcast VMU games that no one ever played. We're in a rough economy, people. We can't be wasting money on uh, on anything. We got to cut corners here. And then he goes on to explain how the Vita can load games from your PlayStation Three and play on the go. Or the Vita, right? That's the dream of the Vita with its uh, connectivity to the PlayStation Three. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I've done that before, and it, I have to admit, it's very impressive. Um, I got MLB Twelve, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's just as simple as pausing it and uploading it to the cloud, and then downloading it uh, to your Vita. And it, it works flawlessly. Yeah, it works flawlessly with the Vita, a $250 piece of handheld hardware by itself, which is playing six-year-old, last-generation software. Yeah, that works flawlessly. And it takes a $250 piece of hardware to do it. Well then, while we're at it, doesn't it suck that the Wii U's controller won't give you blowjobs? Nintendo really fucking dropped the ball on this one. 
The Wii U controller should suck your dick. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if you could just lie back and wrap the controller's dick socket onto your wang and it'd start sucking and blowing it? Oh, that would be the greatest. Nintendo really dropped the ball on this one. It figures, just like Nintendo to do something like that. They're really missing out on a great opportunity. All right, now it's time to wind up this rant on a kinder note. Uh, just for the record, I am a fan of the old-gen gamers. I like their podcasts. I listen every week. They're a fun group of guys. But uh, I'm not going to bullshit you. And when I hear stupid shit, I'm going to call people out on it. All right? Later, motherfuckers.